Hey guys, it's Wayne and Jess. Hi. The Comic Colics. And today we have a hefty haul for you. We do. It has uh, been a while since we've done a haul. The last time you saw us or heard us was uh, our top 50. Yeah, which was an awesome video to do. Had so much fun. Some tough decisions. Yes. <laughs> but if we would film that today, or if we could turn back time, I would definitely insert some of these books in there. Mm -hmm. So that's just a little preview. Yes. So <laughs> the ones that we're going to show you first was actually in RAOK. -okay. Yes, this was totally random act of kindness. Yes. Was not expecting this. And how dare you? Yes. This is uh, <laughs> McLean Comics sent us three books. Um, he does YouTube, but he also does a lot on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so let's show you the three that he sent us. Yeah. First up, we got The Sandman, number four, which is the first appearance of Lucifer. That's I think a lot of people are very happy that it's back. Yeah, so he messaged us on Instagram, too, saying, like, to keep an eye on this because it got renewed on Hulu, and he thinks it's going to be better, uh, have a better, you know... Than it, was on Fo yeah, yeah. than it was on Fox, and I couldn't agree more, I mean. I find it very odd, because if anybody knows why it's canceled, I haven't looked into it, but a lot of people were mad about yeah. that, which makes me wonder why it was canceled, but if anybody knows, Shit always know. happens on the network, you never know. <sighs> True. So, very happy to have that back on Hulu, especially for the big fan. Yeah, so thank you so much for that, it's a huge yeah. book. Um, we got Wonder Woman number 140. This is Trinity Part 1 of 2, and it is a beautiful Adam beautiful. Hughes cover. Beautiful. Love that. I'm going to go with that one. Is yep. the second part. Yep, Part 2 of 2. Another beautiful Adam Hughes cover. Wonder Woman, Superman. It's, it is what it is. It's stunning. Yeah. These are some comics that we did not have in our collection, and we can now add them. And oh, I, I never know what to say when we get these types of things because it... Like, almost hurts my heart how nice people are to share their comics with it's us. It's like somebody's giving us a piece of their collection and that yes. it, it really stays in, like, the permanent part of our collection. Like, this is our PC, our personal collection. Now. It really is. So, thank you so much, and thank you for being a part of our growing collection. Yeah. And we truly, truly appreciate it. And you're next. We're yeah. getting you. <laughs> you did not have to do that. No. So, thank you so much. Um so now we're going to get on to the new books. Mm -hmm. And so these are, some of them are from a week or two ago and from this week. So we're going to kind of go through these a little quick. So I'm assuming everybody's seen these enough. So yes. first up, we got Venom First Host number two. Cool story so far. Um, As Guardians of the Galaxy number one. That's pretty beautiful. Cosmic Ghost Rider number three. This is a cool one. Um, we're going to try to collect a lot of that run. We're always very guilty of picking up books strictly for the covers. Yeah, right. Um, Edge of Spider Geddon, number one. This is the variant. Got this because we are fans of Spider Punk and you can't stop playing the game. And he's a really cool costume and has the cool. <gasps> the guitar thing, and it's so sick. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna be the. <laughs> the what? What are you gonna say? I'm gonna be the minority with this and say. Not you don't really like that oh, crazy okay. impressed. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, so whatever, I'm gonna ignore that. But we got Edge of Spider Geddon number two. This is the first uh Venom bot, Mech Venom, whatever you want to call him. I guess this book's kinda hot, but I went to Time Capsule yesterday and they had like twenty copies. <laughs> yeah. Uh but I didn't want to pick up a bunch. But we got the A cover and the B cover. I think this one's going a little higher, but I just feel like Spider Punk's a little bit of a reach. Would you get off Spider Punk? Now we're on to Mech Venom. I'm sorry, I'm triggered. And then we also got no issue number three, which I guess is the first appearance of Spider Ben and Petey. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't read these yet. Yeah, we do need to crack these open. If anything, when that paperback comes. Yeah, that's out, that's how we do prefer oh, to we're read them. We're gonna crush those on our lunch breaks. Yeah. Um, Venom number six, again, we are going to try to complete this, or just stuff Donny Can Cates. I just say, I love that color, like that pinkish color with I the black too. background. Reminds me of emo days in middle school or something, pink and purple. Bam Margera. Triggered. Hot Topic when it was cool. Oh, And R.I.P. And then we got the Cosmic Ghost Rider variant, really cool cover yeah. as well. They've been killing it with those. 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 So cool, those covers. I just watched too much Johnny Cash. Yeah. Oh, God, a movie. We just watched Walk the Line. Um, Thanos Legacy, number one. Again, the Cosmic Ghost Rider variant. Full cover. 
And then this next one. Wow. We know it's your fave. Yeah. This is the Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number One, the beautiful Del Otto cover. I'm surprised this book isn't going crazy, to be quite honest with you, just for the cover. I mean, this thing's literally, what was it? I forgot what the cover price is, but it's probably more than three, I don't know. Yeah. But it's like on eBay. I wasn't there, it was so on his lunch break, so I feel very left out. But... Yeah, sorry. Um, oh, speaking of which, so I did pick up some books on my lunch break without Jess, but whatever. Mm -hmm. But I held Batman the Damned in my hand, and I was like, should I get it? Uh, $6.99, uh, maybe I'll pick it up this weekend. Little did I know, first appearance Bat Wang, whatever you want to call it, Bruce Wang. No, I want to call it Wang Gate. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, it is blown up to bits, and I kind of regret not picking it up. You're damned but, if you do, you're damned if you don't. Yeah, I was like I said, I was like, oh, cover price is a little high, I'll pick it up this weekend, and then it blew up overnight. Literally. Obviously, you guys know why. But our good friend Thanatos hooked us up, messaged us yesterday or the day before, and said, you know what, I got an extra copy, I'm going to send it to you for nothing. He's sending it to us for us nothing, so that was huge, I couldn't believe that. Whenever I'm at work, and I'm on Facebook, because it's my job, basically, and I see his messages pop up and stuff <laughs> like that, I get... I guess well, so that was at night time. We were, we were having Chinese. We were drinking zombies. Yeah, but there's like an all-day conversation usually going. Triggered. And pretty upset about that because it's too nice. Why are people so I know. Nice? This, the comic community is great. Um, so now we're going to get into the back issues, which I think were a lot of fun this week. Mm-hmm. So this is the little ditty that came with it. Yeah, so the Walmart three packs. You guys have seen us open these before. We've gotten basically every one except for that one, which we found, and they were on clearance for, I think, $3 or $4, so we picked it up. Yes, so... So this was the cover one. I think this is probably my favorite cover. I yeah. Think. So It's it, a good game. Yes. So it's Injustice, Gods Among Us, number one, which I think the regular cover goes for a little bit, but this is the Walmart version of it. Yeah. So the regular cover, the number one's over there, it's got, I think, the writer, artist, and whatnot, but the Walmart one has it down there. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked into it. I don't know if it goes for more or less or what, but just wanted it. Played it on uh, PS4, and I played it on PC. PC is so much better. Zero percent chance. All right, so let's see what the other two comics were. Justice League Dark number 33. Cool cover. Mr. Dead Man right there. Oh, all right. I think, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, this is a cool cover, too. Batman Eternal number 28. Oh, why? Why do you think it's a cool cover? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. No, the... Uh, so, yeah. I mean, the three packs, they're fun. They are fun. However, if we're doing an honest review... I don't think the DC ones, you get anything crazy. We've kind of struck out a bit, so... Yeah, I think the Marvel ones are a little funner. That... Uh, more fun. More fun. All right, now when we were back issue diving, we got some good stuff here. We got Batman number 16. This is part of the Death of the Family run. Oh, it's signed by Scott Snyder, which I thought was really cool. And it was only $2.50. So that was pretty cool. I wouldn't know you went without me. Stop. Rat. Did I? Oh, this was, yeah, this is on my lunch Yes. <laughs> no, you had the <laughs> day off. No, did I? Yeah, you did. I it was know. a Sunday. What? It was a Sunday because I had to help clean up my grandmother's and you went to... No, this was... No. This is how many Whatever. times he goes without I know, me. no, I think this was on my lunch break when I had the, I had a long lunch, remember? Oh, yeah, the hour lunch, yeah. that's right. All right, and so... The appreciation. Yeah, all right, anyways, enough of work. Then we picked... I, <clears throat> I picked up this <clears throat> one. Batman, Batman number 15, also part of the death of the family. And honestly, I just was like, this cover's sick. Mm -hmm. And the silver signature by Scott Snyder looks fantastic. Little did I know this is the 1 in 25 variant. It actually goes for a little bit of money. I think it was like, what, 40 bucks unsigned? Yeah, 38 or something like that. Yeah, and um, signed graded was like... It was well in, in the, the hundreds. Over, yeah. But keeping it because that's... I love this I know, cover. that's such a sick cover. And this was also $2.50. And when I brought them up to the cash register, the guy was like, yeah, they're cheap because there's no COA, but they were signed in person. Like, yeah, I believe you. Believe Ponytail, me. step off. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I love him. Alright, here we go. Had to pick this up. This is Avengers 7 variant, the uh, Spider-Man PS4 game variant, which 
Right, I saw I had to get it. I love our TV is sick of it. That's how much it's been played. It is fantastic game. I do oh, hate it's the amazing. Fa- <laughs> I do hate the fact that the people are kind of like, oh my god, Spider Man. Like, these had so many games and they're all so good. Why don't you show the other ones love? The marketing. I know good, that's huh? what it was. <laughs> and I mean, the graphics are amazing. Yeah, but even like the amazing as. Much as I didn't really like the movies, The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, the games were really good. Yes. I, I, I agree. I mean, I haven't played much of them because yeah. I don't have my own PS4 or anything like that. But well, um, we can replay them. Well, now I do yeah. because you put your, what's mine is mine and what's yours is mine. Yeah. So, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> I think overpaid for this. It was $10, but I really wanted it that much as Jess's jaw just dropped. This is all summer lunch break. I didn't look at that price until now. <laughs> So, uh, we'll talk later. No, I'm uh, kidding. No. <laughs> <clears throat> then we got this one off eBay. What the hell was I it? I really like that cover. I can't remember how much... I... Th- I fuck, I wish I wrote it down, but I, I don't remember how much we paid. But this is Fantastic Four number one, the Perillo variant from Comic Exposure. Holy shit, did this take so long to get in. Yeah. Um, It's a near mint copy. Looks great. Very happy to have it, but god damn, that took forever. I just want to say, I think it was like maybe two or three months ago when right. this was we like... pre-ordered hot. it. People freaked out about yep, it. but it is what it is. We got it now. Don't know if we'll be buying too much from them, but... No. Yeah. I do want to look more into it, though, because... Yeah, we were excited when we pre-ordered it, too. I think we love comics, put out the video and Yes, he did, it. and that's where we, we yeah. saw it. So, yeah, shout it is out what to it Chris. Is. Chris. This one... <sighs> So pumped. All right. We've been wanting to buy this forever. Uh, just could never really find a price that we were happy yeah. with. Doesn't... That's the thing is we, we see comics that we really, really love online. Or, we'll obviously, we all check eBay. Um, but sometimes you got to kind of hold off. But this one we really locked out. And I know yeah. you were very excited about this one. So, I mean, it doesn't go for... This is Amazing Spider-Man number 37. First appearance of Norman Osborn, which, mm-hmm. I mean, I think... Pick it up now because it's inevitable that he's going to appear in the movies one day. And, oh, yeah. I mean, obviously he has in the past. But in the in the MCU or Sony, however however he does. But he's going to appear... Was it for... It was, what, six... Oh, my well, gosh, with, it was cheaper than I remember. Yeah, with shipping... With shipping, twenty one seventy five, which I think it's a really good deal. It's it's lower grade. I mean, grade. it's it's has its flaws, but we all do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we even said like with the silver age ones, we don't care about the grade so much. Nope. Um, like I get all. it graded, it can come back a one or two. I don't care. I just want it. It's those where, especially in the older books. We don't buy them to ever consider giving them away. No. Unless it's like our kids in the future, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we, we've happens. seen them for like forty or so dollars in person, mm-hmm. uh, but twenty one seventy five is fair enough for us. Yes. So happy I to remember have it. we were sitting. I think we were like laying in bed going to sleep, and we were watching it tick down. And we no, this was a best offer one, and all of a sudden you just see. Oh my god! Yeah, he was yeah. asking for like. So I, I think he was asking twenty dollars or best offer, and I just offered like eighteen or something like that, and then plus shipping it came. To, was it? No, I thought it was way more than that. I thought he was asking for like thirty. Yeah. And you were just like, I'm gonna lowball him just to see. And he accepted. I think it. that's what it was, yeah. It was like thirty and I just offered like half the price and he so, accepted. Hey. Lowballing works. We'll take it. Shout out to Thanatos again. Oh my God. This was also while we were another time we were at Chinese having zombies. <laughs> Every time we go there at this Chinese restaurant, Thanatos hooks it up. We have good fortunes. Yeah. So this is The Amazing Spider-Man number 20. This was a grail book of ours. We've been dying to get this book and never find it at a good price. Yep. And um, so Thanatos is going into his LCS, and he was like, you guys looking for anything in particular? He knew that we were going for Silver Age Spidey. Well, this actually was, this book was our very first uh, Instagram raffle that we entered. Yeah, and we did not get it, but... Woke up, watched it, didn't make it, but hey, it was worth a shot, so. Yeah, it was like 60 bucks for like a 4.0. It's meant to be, it's meant to be, and somehow it was meant to be, and somebody was so kind enough. Yeah. Such a good person, so thank you. Yeah, so he was like, all right guys, I'm going to go look, and he was he did like a video of all the different books that the guy had, his yeah. LCS, and there was a shit ton, and um, right when I saw this, I was like, yo. How much does he want? 
It was a hundred dollars. And I was like, I want it. Claim, claim, I got it, I got it. And it was awesome. So it's lower grade, it's not high grade, it's, but I love this subscription increase too. I love that. No. I love, I love subscription that too. No, increases. We both love subscription increases and date stamps. They just kind of like, I don't know, add a memory to it. Or there's a memory stored in it. Somebody That's re- the thing is, obviously when people want to get these graded or sell them and stuff like that, we have no desire to sell or... I mean, I'm going to get this graded. Graded, yes. But, but just selling, to no, it. because these are ones that mean a lot to us. Um, so I love... I, I love... <laughs> I love subscription increases. Yeah. Um, especially when those date stamps or names written on them. Yeah. Let's, I don't yeah. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I just keep staring at the cover. But so yes, first appearance of Scorpion. Obviously, he appeared in Homecoming a little bit, more of a thug. But so happy to have this. Thank you so much, Dan and Toast. And he covered the shipping. It was just a hundred dollars shipped. So too kind. We owe you big time. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> And and now we have to stop with Batman the Dam. Like, what the frick? All right. <laughs> In the last book of our haul, we got the Avengers number eight. First appearance of Kang the Conqueror. Hey, it's got the date stamp. Love it. Loves it. And this one we've been on the hunt for for a very long time. Um, I mean, a lot of people have been specking on this just because, obviously, what's going to happen once Avengers 4 ends? You know, who's going to be the next big bad guy? Is it going to be Galactus? I think it's oh too my God, soon. I wish. I think down the line he will for sure, but I think it's too soon. So maybe it will be Kang the Conqueror. Um, but I don't know. I, I just wanted this again for our PC. And this book has been heating up, so we have not found it at the price that we wanted. It's I think it's going for well over 100 mm-hmm. um, but This one, we bid late at night. And we got it for $65 shipped. That was a bidding war. Yes, it we was. It. Oh, where were we when that happened? <sighs> were we at Pinball? No, because we don't have service there. Uh, I don't know. Probably in bed then, because it was it was no, late. No, I don't think so. No. Oh, well, never mind. No, not like that. Not like that. It was. <laughs> what the? F- no, I was showering and rain. Uh, rain. Wayne came running and saying, "I got it." Oh so, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All so, right. we got this. Also, I, God forbid anybody made it to this point in the video, because Lord knows who, but does that not look like Dots, the little candy things? Yeah, Like the does. wrappers that you would get from the convenience stores, yep. because that's all I think about. Um, oh, yeah. oh, wait. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a complete copy. It is lower grade. I plan on getting it graded again. Um, with the Silver Age books, I want to get them graded just to preserve them. Like, but you also have a theory about this book. What? Is that, I don't know, I think that you truly think that this is going to be the next person. I mean, I can't say that I started that. I think, I mean, a lot of people have been buying this book lately, but I think I first saw it from a video. They don't, they don't like, do comic book hauls, but it was more like they do videos on the MCU, and they made a video on who's going to be the next big bad guy, and they had, like, the top ten likely ones, and this yeah. was one of them. And to me, it stuck out because I was like, Especially since Avengers Four, they're going to be doing like apparently time traveling and whatnot, and I mean that's what that's he does. What I was so gonna say, yeah. I think it's kind of. He explained to me the cutscene that he sees in his head that will happen. I'm not even going to say because I I don't know. It, it is what it is. I think that I don't know. I don't want to say it. It's a it's a below version of your uh, was it white vision? Yeah. Yeah, the white vision spec that is inevitably going to happen as well. So, hey, who knows? If it happens, we'll remember you when we're famous. <laughs> yeah, oh, bro, bro, yeah. Um, but yeah, again, we have been getting Silver Age, which I really enjoy. Our wallets don't, but yeah. yes, no, we enjoy. And hey, it's, it's going to stick with us forever, and it's a great memory. So, yep, so that's yeah. it. Um, been slacking on the contest videos that we want to do. Uh, we've been very busy lately. Weddings, birthday parties, so much stuff's going on. So much. As, ever, like, as it's, everybody, it's, I hate saying that. I hate people saying are like, it. Oh, wow, they think they're the only busy yes, one. Yes, I hate saying that, but there truly has been yeah. stuff going on personally that we've been dealing with, and sometimes you don't have time to make these, and if we do get upset. So don't think that this is a project 
for us or anything. We love making videos, mm -hmm. so when we can't, we do get bummed. So yeah, finally we're able to make one. I um, would love to do something this week. Obviously Tuesday we have pinball, but mm -hmm. we'll do something. Is it how many more weeks do we have? Uh, this Tuesday is halfway. It's week four of eight, so it's already halfway done. <laughs> no, I'm in first along. place. Um, yeah, I'm in first place. I could say some choice words, but I was yeah. a week ago. Yeah, and now who is? Okay, can I just say, I have, oh, I ahead. was number one. I had first place out of how many people? Twelve? Yeah. I was proud of you. I am sorry, but the first season that we did, which was two seasons ago, so this is our third yeah, this season. Is season three. I was last in place, and then... The second season, yeah, I was fifth, and now this time I was first. Yeah. So I don't even care if I win. I am so proud of that. No, I am. So too. many screenshots I took. I know. <laughs> I love pinball so much. It's addicting. It is. So check it out if you haven't. Yeah, check out our Instagram. We post about it. We do. Also, Instagram has become very addicting to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we sit on it all day, and <laughs> I'm upset that we did not. Di discover or create an account earlier. I agree. Office. But that's fun. So that's all that we <laughs> oh, have. Right. No, well, <laughs> the video is already feel. over 20 minutes. So. Oh no. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you made it this far and enjoyed the video. Yes. Um, definitely a variety of books. Maybe we'll go live this week. Maybe. Yeah. I'm down. That'd be really fun. We that can talk about stuff, talk about comics, talk about uh, eBay. I would love to have a conversation about people's thoughts and uh, processes as far as it comes with eBay. And uh, their thoughts on it, mm, if that I makes agree. sense. I'm down like what, pe what people think about it and think like, yes, this is good. No, this is bad. You know, because yeah. I know everybody has very different ones on that. So hundred percent. And if you haven't noticed, we, we do go live, but we don't save the videos just because I, I feel like I want it to be more meaningful. You know what I mean? Like if you catch it live, it's cool. Yes, you but at I mean? the same time, I would like to start saving them because when we do talk to you guys, oh, I mean. it's about stuff, and obviously not everybody's on the same time zone as us. All right, good point. I think maybe because some of them we've had some... Uh, <laughs> mishaps? Well, not mishaps, but like Wi-Fi Wi interferences. Um, so It's we, like every so often the, we lose connection, but it like pops yeah. right back on. It's like, a, I don't know what it is, but... Glitch. Yeah, seriously. But uh, yeah, we do plan on starting um, posting those so people who didn't get to be there can see them. So um, if you don't catch it, this one, if we do it this week, it will be there. So Sounds like a plan. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Now we're going to go watch some of your videos. So. Yeah. And, thank uh, you. <laughs> it's always sunny. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to watch it. Always sunny in Philadelphia. She's never fucking seen it. No, I was too busy with The Office and Parks and Rec. I somehow managed to watch yeah, all of them. You didn't even like Parks and Rec. No. Oh, I, no, I, I felt like it was more of a ripoff of The Office. We're not going to get into this conversation right That's now. That's a conversation it's almost, for a live video. Yeah, it's almost 25 minutes. Okay. All right, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.